Hey guys, today we're back with another product review. And today on the channel, we'll be reviewing the March 2020 Tag Pack. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, back once again today. We're gonna to be reviewing the March 2020 tag pack. First, I will get the card that comes in every tag pack to explain to you what you have. First off the bat, we have the Sons of Liberty Gumworks tea. Uh, a lot of people like the Sons of Liberty Gumworks uh, products. They have some really nice shirts out here, very cool, uh, cool designs and everything. Go ahead and get this and sprout out a little bit. You can see with this one right here, you have a snake on the front of it and uh, it has Sons of Liberty. That's the Texas up by the head. Looks pretty good. More of a uh, gray shirt. And then on the back you have the Sons of Liberty uh, emblem with uh, the head and everything on it. 1776. Sons of Liberty gum works. This right here is a 2XL. And I normally wear XL and it fits me really well. So uh, they might uh, run a tad bit uh, big or a tad bit small in their uh, clothing line, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, Tack Pack actually asks you what uh, size shirt you wear whenever you put in your order to begin with, so just a heads up. Next will be the Black Rifle Coffee Company stainless steel mug. Black Rifle Coffee Company presents one bad mofo of a coffee cup. The stainless steel double walled 13 ounce beast is almost instructable and it will keep your coffee hot for hours. We highly recommend hand washing the item, especially when the matte black finish, with, especially with the matte black finish mug. So yeah, hand wash instead of actually uh, putting it in a uh, uh, <clears throat> washer or anything like that. Yeah, it looks pretty nice though. Coffee or Die has the uh, head with 13 original colonies on it and a Black Rifle Coffee, coffee Company with, looks like a uh, M4 variant to short broad rifle AR-15. Pretty nice, I like my coffee mugs, so. I'll be for sure using that a lot. Next up, we have the Gerber Parafram Fold Knife. What it has on it this lightweight, uh, this lightweight carry, uh, everyday carry knife has an open frame that is the ultimate in minimalist design, easy to carry, easy to clean, open. The Paraframe is an effortless addition to your pocket or belt clip. Uh, has a clip point blade, titanium nitrate coated blade for an extra coated, uh, corrosion resistance, partially shredded edge dual thumbs, pocket clip, and frame lock safety function. Pretty nice overall, very small looking knife. Uh, Gerber makes good products. I've always used a lot of Gerber knives and uh, I always like them very well. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side. That is the Paraphram one. All right, next we have the Mount, Cham uh, Mount Chamber Safety Flag, the MT. Uh, safety first, the STB ARMW is the Chamber flag that is the that is for an AR-15 style weapon. These flags go through the mag very well, and uh, verifies that not only has the magazine been removed from the chamber, is empty as well, and high vis yellow and visible from 160 degrees. So very nice. Has the uh, tape pack uh, parachute on it, so I like that pretty well. It'll be a very good uh, flag for your AR-15 if you use one. Next up will be the shooter's tape. This is one of the more interesting ones that I have have uh, seen. Has the tack pack uh, design on it. It says, a uh, product we developed with range day in mind, built makeshift targets and use it in secure existing targets or any general high-vis utility packaging purposes. This tape includes one MOA target grid and uh, yes it does. Uh, toss it in your range bag right now just in case. So it would be very nice tape if you're wanting to um, go uh, get some 1MA, uh, 1MA shots in. Tack pack product for the self-reliant individual. Very nice. We can set it to the side. And the patch, our most precious offering. I guess they call it precious because it has precious road on it as you can see. Very nice design. It's one of the Velcro rubber ones. I always like them very well. So you can put on anything that has a Velcro on it. Pretty interesting looking design. Go ahead and put this back on. Guys, this will be, looks like about it for the uh, March month uh, tag pack kit. Let's check and see what else they have on the side of it. But as you can see though, guys, that will be it for the review and the May part uh, pack hints. 
with the weather breaking and the outdoor range is becoming a great place to practice not only your accuracy but some social distancing the may pack is coming packed with the necessities you need for a perfect outside day of shooting not really sure what uh, that's going to be hinting to i know the last one hinted at a black rifle and a gerber that was going to be inside of it so as you can see this is what we got for this one right here really didn't uh, lead to any kind of uh, brands or anything designs so i guess we'll all be um, Looking forward to the Maytag pack. So guys, if you have any questions or comments on any of these uh, products, I also thought I would do uh, a new thing with these reviews since I'm gonna be uh, getting one every single month from here on out. Uh, what is my favorite product that I received in the tag pack for this month? I would say as much as I drink coffee, I will uh, like the mug pretty well. I've got a uh, Walking Dead mug that I like to drink out of a lot, but uh, this right here might take its uh, place for now because with the stainless steel walls, it looks like built very well and uh, just really all out very well designed. I will probably say that this uh, product right here out of everything that come in the March tack pack will be my favorite. I like knives and everything, but I have a EDC, uh, let's see what is called, the uh, Benchmade AFO 2 that's what I carry every day, but uh, might be carrying this Gerber here and there, just uh, depending on if I need a uh, knife, I don't care to get dirty or anything else. But I like everything that comes with it. I'll be able to use everything that comes with it uh, for this month. Last month, I think the only thing I probably wouldn't really be using is the AR uh, tube thing, the uh, the tool thing. I'm not really sure what even it still was used for. But uh, overall, though, everything in here I'll probably be able to use, and I really do enjoy everything. So, guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun, gear, and knife reviews, and I will see y'all in the next video. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I'd like to make a quick shout out to Hero Soap Company for sponsoring my channel. Uh, Hero Soap Company does a one-one ratio with their soap lines, with their subscriptions to where if you subscribe to their soap every single month, uh, you will get a, a delivery of soap in the mail once a month. And not only that, but they will also send a one-one ratio of the soap you purchase overseas to a soldier in need. Not only that, but some of their profits that they make from their subscription lines will go to soldiers and first responders such as law enforcement, EMS, and fire in need, and will go to multiple other different uh, actual charities involving first responders and veterans. So guys, it's very good quality, very good company, and if you'd like to check them out, go to the description below and uh, find my link, and you can use that and go into their website and make sure that you type in Golden Web at the end, and it will give you 10% off. But just want to make a quick shout out to Hero Soap Company and giving them a special thank you. So guys, appreciate y'all viewing, and I will see you all in the next video.